and uh, the activist, the co-founder of Krim Source Movement, Emil Tashava, will be talking about uh, commemorate about marking the first anniversary, commemorating of the first anniversary of tragic events during the Maidan bloodshed on February 2014. Also, Sergei Ivanov will join us a little bit later. In a few minutes, he will be with us. Uh, Tamila, you're welcome. Good afternoon to everyone. First of all, I would like to say that we are here just together, two of us, but there are many uh, activists who agreed uh, to be members of the organization committee on preparation of not just one date, uh, but uh, you probably know, and we again would like to remind you that practically starting from today, which was called the beginning of uh, the uh, hot events, uh, bloodshed uh, events uh, in Grushevskova because the, uh, on the 22nd of um, January, uh, that was uh, at that time very tragic and uh, sad uh, date uh, because then we received uh, the information about the death uh, killing of Sergei Nigayan practically the night of 23rd Zhezhnevsky and then on and on uh, the um, uh, where there are several dates and they are related not just to Maidan. So we would like to say that we are now setting up the organization committee and uh, all agreed that uh, I uh, should head this organization committee on preparing not just one date but all the dates up to 22nd of uh, February when uh, the criminal authorities in the majority left the country. Unfortunately, many of them succeeded in that. And we want really very much to involve as many people as possible. We're not saying about uh, the um, exact number of people, the names which are in this organization committee, there's Tamila, who's present here, Sergei, uh, myself. Uh, uh, well, I talk to many uh, uh, by the phone. I talk to Ruslan, to Elena Padabit from Frankivsk. Vladimir Vitrovich agreed. Uh, yesterday, I talked to Tamara Schwetz, who's the representative of the families of those who were killed. Uh, uh, the representative of families of the Heavenly Hundred, and I will talk to Igor Gurik, to many families, will be in close contact, because these are the dates which uh, relate to the biggest shooting on the 20th of February, when 87 people were shot dead within one day. They were killed. Uh, and these are our best guys who we call the Heavenly Hundred. That is why this organization committee, with this organization committee, we would like to organize such a movement. It will be practically every day. Uh, via hotline, many activists, volunteers will join us. Alessia Zhukovska was to join us, and she's a volunteer who was shot by the sniper. She's now... Uh, uh, passing her exams at the un medical university. That was a coincidence after she um, s was uh, saved, she studies, she will join us in work. And we want to involve as many uh, as possible activists, um, as many activists as possible, because there's no secret. These dates on the 18th of February, 20th of February, 21st, uh, there might be some manipulations uh, around these dates. Uh, the attempt to organize some alternative uh, um, activities, something that could be dangerous for people. And we would like to 
tell you about this organization committee so that you submit your ideas so that we get some consensus and different ideas in the format of commemorating the dates because there are different ideas there's a, an idea to have the requiem either in Maidano in the uh, October Palace uh, and um, we need to tell about what we are doing with the memorial complex also this the situation at what stage uh, uh, we are with uh, creating the Museum of Maidan. So we would like to really uh, explain it to the public so that we, uh, by this uh, time of commemorating the dates, we get to uh, the moment of unity, unification of our memory. Talking about the dates, Tamila will also join um, me, but the 22nd, I said that that's the day of uh, the uniting the churches and the day of the first losses, and there will be the measures uh, taken to commemorate the memories of Nigayan and Jesniewski, those who became the victims. The 29th of January, the day of crude heroes, and that is especially now associated so much with our students who are very active, with our young people who are also ready to sacrifice their lives for the sake of their country. And there will be this day some uh, activities also. Not getting to the date of the 18th of February, uh, this burning uh, uh, Maidan, Maidan in fire, the assault. I would like to say that in February, and we are calling upon all the mayors uh, and heads of regional administrations and mayors of the cities, because in the beginning of February there were events in Cherkass and Khmelnytsky. There were also very hot events taking place in Kharkiv and Odessa. And we would like to address them and uh, keep contact with them so that there they pay attention to the dates where there were biggest uh, uh, opposition, where there were some flash mobs, and uh, they remind about these events. This will be the moment when they will remind about these people, because now there's an information that in Cherkasse there's a person that uh, pushed these uh, 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 flowers, uh, vase with flowers that fell on the head of a girl. Many of them um, around us, Nothing, but nothing is forgotten. Sergei Ivanov, who was also an active uh, participant, especially at night, that was also very important to have such person so it is very important uh, that in the places, uh, in the cities uh, where events were taking mm -hmm. place, in Khmelnytsky, um, ladies suffered in uh, uh, Khmelnytsky, all these events that shouldn't be some type of reconstruction, but this should be uh, remembered uh, and commemorated, and also the format uh, of how this um, uh, offense, uh, this assault, uh, is to be commemorated. And then on the 20th of February, that's the day uh, where um, there were the most massive uh, uh, killings and shooting uh, of our guys. And also 21st, uh, I just uh, recollect chronologically how was it taking place from either the 20th uh, at night on the 21st or the, at night on the 22nd when we saw the video when Yanukovych was uh, running away from Mizhigiria collecting all his um, possessions. There should be certain uh, events uh, related to that. And Saturday, Sunday, uh, we will think about the format, how it will look like. 
that is briefly what I wanted to explain about the idea, about what the organization committee will be doing. But the main thing is, and I forgot to mention also, that in this organization committee, uh, there will be no leaders of political forces. There will be no leaders of factions. There will be no high officials. There will be several MPs probably from factions, but uh, these are ex participants of active events of that time. And uh, to make it, uh, mm, to, they will be there just to help us uh, in the process, Levus, uh, who was the representative of self-defense, uh, or maybe Vitaly Korchik, who was responsible for technical support of the stage, uh, maybe Andrei Lienka, Maria Matios. Uh, and again, I would like to repeat that is an open, uh, it's open for everyone, the process. Uh, is going on. Today we are just announcing about setting up this organization committee that we are really joining the uh, time of very important days, uh, dates which we have to remember and commemorate. Uh, hello, colleagues. Really, many of you may think that I, uh, you know, I represent the movement Crimea Source, SOS. So what we have to do with the Maidan events. But in reality, all the founders of uh, Crimea SOS movement are active participants in Euro Maidan. And our movement was founded right after the events of Maidan from the start of the occupation of Crimea uh, by the Russian Federation. Besides, I am a Crimean Tatar, and I'm very pleased that I can represent Crimean Tatars who were in the Maidan since the first day, and our banners were flying over Maidan from the very first day. So I will join the process uh, very actively. And I can tell you that the events that uh, were unfolding on Maidan, we suggest that one of the events should be a photo exhibition dedicated to IDPs. And uh, we have collected their stories. And some of them are active participants in Euromaidan. And these are people who have resettled as a result of uh, the occupation of Crimea and uh, events in uh, the East. So we want them to join in the commemoration of uh, events that became, on the one hand, very significant, on the other hand, very tragic, and Euromaidan has shown the consolidation of the entire Ukrainian people during those events, and now we see the consolidation and the continuation of active work during the events in uh, Crimea and in the East, so this consolidation has to be also the commemoration of these events, because we understand that some political forces may speculate with these issues and in order to avoid this we call upon the activists who were taking part in uh, those events to join in the process so i'm very pleased that uh, i have a chance to take part in this organizing committee and uh, as you again told you the organizing committee is open for all suggestions and we invite you to join in the process. I'd like to thank Yevhen for inviting me to the organization committee. I am Sergei Ivanov. I am a volunteer of the Night Guard Company and we are responsible for all the joy and grief that was happening on the stage of Maidan during the na night. That was all our doing. On the other hand, we understand that this is not just a period of commemoration and memory. This is also a uh, period of discontent and uh, concern. It will be, there will be attempts to use it and manipulate it. Uh, this is also the period of uh, 
fright and dissatisfaction and we want to do what we managed to do last year to organize all the creative potential uh, on the stage and try to involve everyone who would like to protect and defend the country and also you know we now have another country a different country from what we had a year ago although it is in a very precarious position but still we have it questions a question in english hello i am chastnik kramora i'm from finland i'd like to know you will have a lot of different events so in order for us to get to know about them will you have the, your own site how we can get the news about what's going on to have well we were talking with the crisis center the ukrainian crisis center there's also the press center of maidan we will talk to them and of course we will set up a hotline and um, probably a site which we will use to spread information and to call upon people uh, even if they can do cannot do this physically send us their proposals in a soft form and we will in our turn inform the media and public through the site yes uh, what about today do do you already have the hotline number maybe I don't remember whether we have it at hand, the hotline number. Well, this is the phone, call, the phone number of the Ukrainian Crisis Media Center. We will find it and we'll tell you. It's 050-157-8159. So, if you're interested in organizational issues, you call this number. Any other questions? Thank you very much, Yevhen, Tamila, and Sergei. We will wait for updates or some calls, appeals, and when the program and schedule of events is more or less definite, we will invite you again so this was about the necessity to organize and if there is uh, some sort of uh, the settled schedule we will inform you of the site and the time of the events and the content of events thank you very much including who will pay for this by the way were there any talks about sponsorships and what sort of uh, help you need today? No, we haven't talked about this, but we will uh, cry out to everyone who were helping us then. And we promise 